in this lecture, we will take a look how to make this type of banner inside of PowerPoint. I have downloaded a couple of example pictures, a color scheme and the original design. Now let me bring all of that into PowerPoint to shorten the design time. All right, we have the picture, we have the design which we are kind of going for and some colors. Okay, the first thing you want to change if you are doing a banner, you want to know the size of the banner. But if you don't, you can simply go to design, slide size and go to custom slide size. Now we have the width and height in inches here, but I can do a little trick. Let me go for 920 and press PX and it will automatically convert into inches. The same for the height. Let's for example go to 4 600 pixels. This is an approximate normal size for this kind of banners. I have nothing here so I can press maximize, it doesn't matter. And this is my new slide dimension. I want to start with the picture in the background and as you can see the picture should be much bigger. So I'll take my left shift key and left control key and make it big enough so it covers the entire slide. Once I have done that, I'm going to picture format, crop, and I'm cropping this design until I see the slide. I can see my slide is here. The red line helps me to indicate that. My slide is here and my slide is top and on the left side, the slide is here. Okay, right now you do not have to leave the picture as is. You can still move the picture around within the new cropped area. I'll move it towards the upper side. I like want to have maybe more of the city, a few of the cars and the people. Okay, cropped and this is a perfect background. Now in order, since in this picture we have it black and white, if you want to achieve the same result while having the picture selected, you go to color and you simply lower the saturation to 0% if you want to have no colors. If the photograph seems too bright for you, you can also go to corrections and you can correct it to make it really, really dark. Brightness, both brightness and contrast. In this case, I want it very dark, so I'll go for the lower brightness and a more contrast. All right, the next step is to create those two upper shapes. And those are really interesting. So. In order to do them, I'm using my shortcut with Alt 2, but you can go to Insert Shapes and it seems that the triangle here will do the work. So I'm doing a triangle like that. I can just freestyle with it and I can then turn it around by pressing down my Shift key and turning it around. Oh, I see I got it totally wrong, but that's no problem. I can very easily resize the triangle to the appropriate sizes. When it comes to the shape fill, while having this triangle selected, you want to select white, go to shape outline and select no outline. So I simply control D, I bring it to the right side and with my shift key again, I just turn it around. All right. And now I want to use the secondary color. Let's use a color that we selected, not exactly the same color that we had here. How you can achieve that? Very simply. Shape fill, eyedropper, click and just select the color you want. I kind of want to go for this red. Maybe this uh, right one. The next thing we can see on this design, if I enlarge it, we have this very cool overlays on the right and left side. And this is something that makes this design really, really great. And I can congratulate the designer. And now it's our turn. I will quickly to insert and I'll go with a rectangle just because I want to have complete freedom with the design. So I have this rectangle. I'll make it kind of really big. Then I go to right click, edit points, and I edit the point as I see fit. And it seems that a triangle like that will do the trick. Okay, so we ended up with another triangle. Shape outline, no outline. Shape fill. I want the recent red color, but with a slight change, I want to right click, format this shape. I do not need this color scheme anymore. Format this shape, clicking on it. On the right side, you have transparency. I'll give it plenty of transparency, like 50 or 60%. Now I wanna make sure that I take the white one. I right click on it and I bring it to front. You can see we achieved something very, very similar. And what's cool, we can at any given point adjust that again. Now you can imagine what I will do. 
Ctrl D, I'll take this existing triangle, shift, turn it around, place it in the appropriate place, and for the color now I'll go for white. Since I have format shaped already opened, white, transparent, the last adjustment would be to right click on this and bring it to front. Once you are completed with the design, you may be added here the logo, maybe you are added here the contact us text. You can go to file, save and save this as a JPEG and this would be a ready banner to upload anywhere. As you can see, this design can be adjusted with a few mouse clicks. You just Ctrl D and you can change any element you see here. For example, making some of the elements bigger, making some of them smaller and the design will look completely different. This way, by adding a few elements, you get always a unique twist on the design. For example, putting text on the side, put, putting text on the top side, maybe deleting some elements in the middle. And as you can see, very easily we get variations of the same design.